China's biggest city, Shanghai, remains eerily empty. 26 million people under a massive COVID lockdown. Relying on government deliveries and anger is soaring. Social media showing videos of protests over food and medicine, a supermarket ransacked. At a building where residents have been locked down for two weeks, they shout, we only want supplies. Why are you beating people? At night, the echoes of people crying out from their windows Oh for my help. God. With oh the Omicron variant surging here, China is tightening its strict zero COVID rules oh. to contain what is now the country's worst outbreak ever. Tens of thousands of asymptomatic people being corralled into mass quarantine centers. In some cases, children have been separated from their parents, Great. triggering public outcry. American Josh Vaughn got swept up in the dragnet. He's trying to keep his business going from a hospital. It's, this is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Two years into the pandemic, there is no easing up on zero COVID here. Robots patrol some streets. Oh my God. Reminding people to wear masks. Here in Beijing, even when there's one case, an entire neighborhood is blocked off. You can see the deliveries are passed through a window. In oh Shanghai, gosh. drones tell people to stay home. Control your soul's desire for freedom, it says, wow. as more cities double down with restrictions. The economy is taking a hit, too. Shanghai is a major trade hub. The port is one of the biggest in the world, and there are hundreds of cargo ships that haven't been able to dock. Add to that that factories have had to close down under zero COVID, and there are real concerns about the ripple effect this lockdown is going to have on the global supply chain. Exactly. And therein lies the dilemma of the COVID, the supply chain, the inflation. Inflation is global, number one. Number two, that's bad news for us because we get all our crap from all over the place, especially there. Did you see what that state looks like? Did you see what Shanghai looks like? They got like little robots patrolling the streets, little dog looking robots. No dogs, just robots. It's very creepy. And the, the robot tells you, wear your mask, wear your mask, wear your mask. But that drone, did you see that drone flying over those buildings? That, 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 it, it's a modern looking city. It's not exactly third world, is it? No, Shanghai is a, a very wealthy city in China. Okay? These are the, the, the well-situated people in China that can afford these apartments. And there's drones flying over them as they're screaming out the windows, let us out, we're starving, we're starving. And the drone is literally saying, I couldn't believe it when I saw it, the, the drone is literally saying, control your soul's desire for freedom. Wow. You're not going to be happy, uh, Red State America. You're not going to be happy until that happens here because this garbage in about how inflation is an American phenomenon and Biden is doing it and the price of gas has something to do with Biden and the price of rent has something to do with Biden and the price of food and the price of cheap crap on Amazon has something to do with Biden. And uh, you're going to actually vote for some psycho red state moron idiot that's going to ban books, tell you to kidnap your governor. I mean, I honestly don't know what it is that uh, people think is going to come out of going even more authoritarian than we already are. You know, I, 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 this, this, this is, this is crazy. This is mass madness. So, he, he, this is a guy. His name's Dave, David Culver. He actually lives in Shanghai. He's an American reporter for CNN because CNN is global and they have reporters everywhere, as you know. The, you, don't, you don't mind seeing David uh, Culver in your neighborhood. I wouldn't mind seeing David Culver in my neighborhood, but I don't ever want to see Clarissa Ward in my neighborhood or Christiane Amanpour in my neighborhood. No, never. And you definitely don't want to see Hala Garani. No. But this is David Culver. He lives there. Beijing is now in charge. China's zero COVID policy is a directive straight from the top. President Xi Jinping himself wants this virus stomped out. A military mobilization is underway to make more than 100 makeshift hospitals. They've got capacity for up to 160,000 people. 
sounds impressive. State media is certainly portraying it as an orderly, sterile environment. But the reality from folks on the ground shows cramped and unsanitary conditions. So how does this end, and when? Well, officials, John, have announced today plans to begin the lifting lockdowns on certain neighborhoods. But the thing is, not nearly enough neighborhoods are going to be lifted and folks freed uh, to bring this city back to life really freed. anytime soon. Uh, David, before I let you go, just, just clarify. You're shut in? There's like a paper barrier keeping you from exiting, going to, to the food market where you are right now? It's a piece of paper. Yeah, that, well, for one, the food market's not even open. The folks who work at the food market are also locked down. But yeah, I can't go outside that door. There's a seal. If I do, physically I could do it, but I would break the seal. Oh my and God. there's repercussions for that. You have to have a community worker escort you to pick up food deliveries, if you're lucky enough to get them, and to get the government distributions if they happen to come. Okay, so do you know what he's telling you? Do you know what he's saying? Do you know what he was showing you there? Okay, so this is like when I was growing up. <laughs> Me and my sister shared a room until we didn't, okay? Then we moved to Queens, and I got my own bedroom. She got her own bedroom. And I used to like to steal her makeup and steal her clothes because she had the better stuff. I had the hand-me-downs. You know, I was the, the, the baby, and she was the, the teenager. So I would go in. She put a lock on her door, but I knew how to pick a lock. So I would pick the lock, go into her room, and steal her crap, and then sneak on out. She got so hip to what I was doing that she would put a piece of tape on the top of the door, on the top of the door, so that if I broke in, the tape would rip, the tape would break. And she would know that I was in there and she'd beat me up. Okay, so that is what China is doing to grown ass adults. China is putting on the outside of your door to your apartment, to your home, to your house, a piece of paper, an official government piece of paper, so that if you leave your home, the paper will tear and they will know that you left and there are repercussions for that. Now, David Culver didn't tell us exactly what those repercussions for that is, but the idea that there are children separated from their parents, the idea that people are being, uh, you know, uh, starved out, that there's no food deliveries, that there's no food in the stores, that stores are closed, that people are literally hanging from their buildings, screaming. Look at this. This is this is like a city. <laughs> and people are opening their windows and screaming. Chicago. Unfortunately, 